my goodness, that's a horrible beat. I don't know, I'm not even proud of myself. What's up everyone, Muzi Beats here, and today we're going to be using Logic instead of Alpha Studio. You know, this is going to be an Alpha Studio, you know, tries to me, tries to use Logic or whatnot. Uh, disclaimer, the beat I made this, the beat I made in this video is horrible, I know. Let me know in the comments, yeah? Are you Alpha Studio gang or Logic gang? I'm interested to know, so just let me know. So let's create a software instrument, and then we're going to open up my favorite uh, VST, which is Complete Control. Let's just use a piano. We're going to press Control, left click, create MIDI region, and then from here, we're just gonna create a simple melody. Let's make this really simplistic. Let's go A, F, C, B. So I'm just gonna repeat this over and then we're gonna open up a new software instrument and then this is where we're gonna do our chords. I'm just gonna repeat this over until maybe even the fourth section right here. And then we're gonna create chord progression that's gonna go with these, that's gonna go with these kind of like uh, notes. And then dun, dun, so F, D. This is like my go-to chord progression when I'm trying to like make dark trap melodies. So this is what it's gonna sound like. Okay, um, let's do some simple drums, yeah? Let's start with an 808. So this is my favorite 808. I've abused this 808. I say this all the times. So I need, I need to change my 808. Let's add a simple two-step hi-hat. Okay, so FL, um, so thing like just like FL Studio Logic has this kind of new pattern region. So we'll drag this into Drum Machine Designer, and we have our hi-hat right here. We'll go and then we'll create a new pattern region, and then we'll just fill in all the steps. The only thing FL Studio has above this um, channel rack, okay, it has a lot of things. First of all, Logic kind of like need to develop this a little bit more. And also, one thing FL Studio has over it too is the fill each two steps feature that. That saves so much time. Like instead of having to like draw out each and every single step like this, let's make this 64 steps. Instead of having to draw out each and every single step like that, and I'll also reduce the volume of this. Let's add a clap. So we're gonna create a new um, pattern region. As I said, we're just gonna make a simple beat. Let's add a kick to this. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy our notes from our 808. Now, this is another thing I like about FL Studio more than Logic is um, FL Studio is a little bit faster to use. Like I've been using Logic for quite some time now and I've noticed that FL Studio is much quicker to use. Uh, like all this in FL Studio ought to have been done within a couple seconds and maybe let me paste these notes. I feel like another problem too is I don't know most of the shortcuts because I've just started using them. Honestly, this is a horrible beat too. <laughs> this is the beat. Oh my goodness, that's a horrible beat. I don't know, I'm not even proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself. I'm still gonna put this out just to show that everyone has bad days in the studio. So now, which door is better? It depends. Yeah, in my opinion, I feel like FO Studio is better if you're just a beat maker. You're trying to make trap beats because I don't know what it is about the FL Studio mechanics or the FL Studio interface and whatnot or the FL Studio UI, but the beats that come out of FL Studio just out of FL Studio you just hit hard. Now, if you're a singer songwriter or you're trying to learn how to mix vocals, I think Logic might be better for that. Uh, I don't know, but personally, I found myself using Logic even though I've just made a horrible beat. I feel like this is probably the worst beat I've made all year, yeah. But I don't know. You let me know which one do you think is better in the comments? Are you FL Studio gang or Logic gang? Yeah. And this is the end of the video. Uh, if you want more. Or FL Studio tutorials, or if you want more tutorials in general, just click over any other video which is right in front of my face.